In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element in POCl3. The phosphorus, that's the orange. The red, that's the oxygen. And then the three green atoms, those are the chlorines. So we use these rules here to find the oxidation numbers. Looking down the list, I don't see phosphorus, but here's oxygen. And oxygen is almost always a minus 2, with a few exceptions. So the oxidation number on the oxygen is minus 2. We also can see that group 17, that's the halogens, that's where chlorine's at, is a negative one charge. So we have a negative one for each chlorine. So we're left with the phosphorus in the center, and we don't have a rule to help us with that, except that in a neutral compound, all of the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So when I add all these numbers up, including the phosphorus, it's going to equal zero. So I have a minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So a minus five plus some number, and that number is the oxidation number on the phosphorus, that'll equal zero. So a minus five and a plus five, that equals zero. So the oxidation number on the phosphorus is plus five. And those are the oxidation numbers for POCl3. To recap, we found the oxidation numbers of the elements we knew, and we used that along with the fact that a neutral compound has all its oxidation numbers adding up to zero to figure out the one we didn't know, the phosphorus. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for POCl3, and thanks for watching.